Hi, it's Kristen from Altitude Advisory. I'm here to talk to you today about workforce planning. You're all too aware that we are smack bang in the middle of the COVID-19 pandemic and the effect on business has been huge, there's no doubt. And it's likely to last for a lot longer yet. You might be lucky enough to be in an industry that's booming or potentially you're in an industry that wasn't and you've either had to shut shop or maybe you were able to reinvent the way that you do things. In any of those situations, you will find yourself having to deal with team planning, either putting them on, laying them off, or redeploying them in a different way to ensure that your business keeps going. So today I thought it was an opportune time to provide some more detail around workforce planning, what it is and how to approach it. So what is workforce planning? Workforce planning is the process of analysing, forecasting and planning workforce supply and demand. It involves assessing gaps and determining your ideal targets in recruitment to ensure that your business has the right people to fulfil its mandate and its strategic objectives. And when I say right people, I'm referring to people with the right skills being used in the right places at the right time. A workforce plan requires some committed thinking time and the conversation should involve your key people. It shouldn't just be you. Quite often, the very best results come from having someone externally asking questions, so someone facilitating it to elicit critical thinking required to get the supreme results. Because if it's just you thinking, it's only the same stuff going around and round. Workforce planning can be broken down into key focus areas that basically pinpoint where we are now, where we're going to go, and what's our plan to bridge the gap. First, we need to consider the foundation of every good business, strategy. Strategic direction and setting a strategic direction for your workforce plan involves understanding who your key people are, where you want to go into the future, and how the workforce needs to be aligned to achieve them. For example, you might consider trying to answer questions like, what is your short-term, long-term strategy? What challenges exist in the emerging market? Economic, political, what's happening in the environment? What are your organisational strengths and challenges? And how well positioned are you to survive change? We are right in the middle of the most extreme example of change right now. Once we know where we're driving the business through strategy, it's simply a matter of resourcing it. And then we move on to workforce supply, or in simple terms, what does our team look like now? This involves understanding the current workforce and how it's projected to change over time due to attrition or staff turnover and other trends. Looking at your current organisational chart is a really great place to start. How well does your current workforce align or support your business strategy? How many employees are at each level? How will turnover of key staff affect your organisation's ability to deliver those services? What difficult positions do you have to fill? Where am I challenged to fill positions with quality applicants? Are there local recruitment sources that can help get top talent? Is there a new way that we could work to, to bring in a different skill mix that's going to help in recruitment? And can the workforce be arranged differently to better facilitate workload coverage? Once you've answered all of those questions and revisited your strategic direction and you understand your current workforce abilities and limitations, you can look at demand. What are you going to need into the future? Demand analysis or where's the business heading means that you take your strategic document and you make an assessment on the types of workers and skills and the number of resources that you think you're going to require. You can assess this by asking yourself or getting someone else to ask you some questions along the lines of how many staff do we need to deliver the service offerings into the future? What percentage of a full-time person's time is required to deliver a particular service or product? Are we anticipating any changes in technology, regulations, customer base? 
the use of AI, for instance, for data entry jobs, are we no longer going to need those people? Uh, how would workload in each service line be impacted by those changes? And what opportunities are there to leverage if you're lucky enough to have multiple divisions? How can we leverage between divisions? Then we move on to gap analysis. So we've done what does our workforce look like now? What do we think we're going to need into the future? Now we're going to fill the gap. It involves looking at your top priorities and which things are going to have the greatest impact on business performance. So here we're going to focus on what competency or skill gaps do I have? How are those competencies and skills being updated to reflect the changing business environment? Is there enough diversity in my workforce? Once we know the gap, we can move on to an action plan and monitoring. So action plan, build the plan, a list of actions, and then we revisit. So once we've identified the strategy, assessed our current workforce, modelled our future workforce, we're going to build a plan. So you're going to need a recruitment plan. Which roles do we recruit for first? A training plan. Who needs upskilling or training to fit into the future of the business? Who do we want to let go? So in this area, the action plan, we're going to focus on the 20% of actions that give us the 80% return. So focus on 20% to get the biggest bang for buck, the real dial shifting action. Having a workforce plan, like any plan, takes the guesswork out of decisions. It allows an on-purpose way of driving your business forward as opposed to accidental motion. It also has the added benefit of adding dollar value to the business as a whole in the instance of succession or sale. If you have any questions at all or want to talk about workforce planning, I hope I've covered off just a, a little brief overview, but if you wanted to talk to me about it, please give me a call. My name is Kristen. You can call me on 81721444. Have a beautiful day.